So you want to study biomedical science. If you're checking out this video, you've probably already made up your mind in terms of which scientific direction you want to go in to study. And I'm talking life science. And if you clicked on this title more specifically, then you're interested in biomedical science. And if you're not that sure what biomedical science is still about, then I have another video right here to check out. In fact, I have a whole channel explaining stuff about biomedical science. So make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for future videos. Last advice that I want to give to you guys to make sure that you definitely, definitely made the right decision. Which university is your course accredited? Do you want to become a medical lab scientist? Do you want to work in a medical lab with patient samples? These are all things you should consider. Everyone wants the best. And if you check sites like Bachelor Portal or Bachelor Studies or Master Portal or Master Studies or something like that, the exact links will be in the description below, so check that out. Well, usually you can rank according to the education type in terms of which course, so life science oriented, biology, biotechnology, and then see which university offers a very good course on biomed. So that's the first thing to consider, the quality of the course. A second thing is geography, and I mean this in two ways. First, where you study. Second, where you will work with your degree. And this all relates to your willingness to move either temporarily or perhaps for your career for an extended a period of time. And I mean, not for the study, like five, seven years, but maybe for life. Boy, that's a very extended period of time. The thing is, you should also contemplate perhaps if you're going into biomed, potentially career wise, you won't work in a medical lab and then you're going to industry and get into research centers, perhaps, or into biotech, biopharma, who knows? But then the question becomes where you live. Is there a biotech hub or pharma hub? Are there companies nearby? Like, for instance, if you live in the countryside, don't expect to be able to work for a big pharma company if it isn't there. If it's like in London and you're somewhere on the countryside, then you have a problem. You should be willing to move for your career, of course. These are aspects to consider. So geography plays a role. A third thing, and now I'm talking specifically for my UK friends here. See, the UK is a bit odd in the sense that they term biomedical scientist equally as someone working in a medical lab, which in general would be called a medical lab scientist, a medical laboratory technologist, MLT, MLS for short. The UK says biomedical science, you study it, and what's the problem? Perhaps people pick a course in biomed, it's not accredited, and then they have issues to become an MLT because they want to work as an MLT, but they didn't realize that actually you can be a biomedical scientist graduating into research focused on going into uh, academic labs, being a postdoc, academic career, professor or biotech or biopharma or anything like that. The rest of the world will have less problems with this because they just turn their courses to become MLTs or MLSs, medical laboratory science. Biomedicine, for instance, could be another course name for biomedical science. You should check the aim of delivering certain types of people for certain types of job. That will help. For my UK friends, you make sure that the course is accredited if you want your option to go more smoothly to get into clinical apps, medical apps. Because if it's not accredited and you still want to get in that, you need to build portfolio stuff. You need to get uh, HPCC type of accreditation and it's a lengthy process and I've heard that it can be cumbersome. A very handy site for you guys, my UK friends, is the IBMS, the Institute of Biomedical Science org link in the description below there you can check the list of which universities have accredited courses for biomed so in essence if you're looking to study biomedical science and you're in the uk then you should watch out if the course in biomed uh, what it delivers so check the accreditation the rest of the world mostly no problem just in terms of semantics Biomedicine could be another name for the course in biomedical science or bio biological science and research uh, with a focus on medicine. You get my point. Check the course content. So biomedical science, 
apart from the UK type of stuff, usually is focused on delivering researchers with a research focus, but not per se, because with your biomedical science degree, you can also get into industry, pharma industry, biotech industry, research institutes, you can go in sales jobs. You know guys, I have a whole video playlist on jobs you can get with a biomedical science degree, so highly welcome to check that out. And then a last important note for you guys is perhaps you began biomedical science and you're somewhere in your second year or third year and you thought maybe this course isn't quite for me and you want to go do something like pharmacy or biotechnology or let's say biomedical engineering. Then you should realize that all these majors kind of like circle in the life science, medical science, Field, so it's more easy perhaps to switch majors between bachelors or undergrads to grad years to masters or PhDs but perhaps at the cost of one year extra to catch up on some courses from the undergrad that you would choose your major in. For instance, you did an undergrad in biomedical science for three years, you want to switch in a master's to biotechnology, well then you can perfectly do that but you will need a gap here to catch up on some courses that are in the basic undergrad years of biotechnology. So guys, I hope this video has brought some better insights for you to study biomedical science, some aspects that perhaps you did not think about yet and that you have contemplated now and that you will integrate into your search for a good biomedical science course. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for future biomedical content. Hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.